December 15, 1968, I was uh, uh, while on patrol in the Mekong Delta area of Vietnam. I was uh, was in an ambush, and uh, me and my squad leader and uh, two uh, Vietnamese scouts were also wounded, and also uh, my platoon leader's uh, radio telephone operator. And, uh, the wound in my left knee, and, uh, and the RTO got the, the uh, head wound. I had to hover in to get us all out, but they they came in on the fire, and, and, uh, and when they left, uh, they were still on the fire. Inside this building, there are so many more stories, just like James's stories. Um, it, it, it's amazing the people in here. But you know, today what we did was we focused on um, coming in and not on so much of their stories, but on making their day a brighter day. So what we did is we bought them donuts for breakfast, and then we bought them platters of food for lunch. And the most important thing that we did is we told them how much we appreciate what they've done, the sacrifice that they've made for our country. Thank you, sir. People travel from 250 miles to get here. People like from the U.S. Department of Labor. Don DeGregorio, I'm the director for the U.S. Department of Labor, Veterans Employment and Training for the state of North Carolina. James Woodard, I'm with the North Carolina Division of Veterans Affairs, and I oversee the state of North Carolina's state veterans nursing home program. Charlie Smith, I'm the director of the North Carolina Division of Veterans Affairs, and uh, we operate uh, two state nursing homes, veterans nursing homes, uh, three veterans cemeteries, and 16 field offices across the state and 94 counties. Our mission is building better lives for America's disabled veterans and their families. And we do this through a couple of programs. One is our van transportation network where we give free rides to veterans to the VA hospital as long as they have a valid appointment. The second one is we process the claim work free of charge for them. Everything that we do in the DAV is free and we are look, constantly looking for volunteer drivers. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 2, it, we always have people here doing service work and that's when the most people are in the office at any one time. Because you know what I find? I find that people do want to service our veterans, but they don't know how to get started. So that would be a great way to start. That would be a fantastic way to start. Uh, they welcomed us with open arms. In fact, they made us feel like the heroes. You know, maybe usually come into a city like a storm, man. So they have to fight for our country, find themselves coming home to nothing, and we try to service them. Wow. Um, so, and that, that's basically what we do. So, uh, and we just love doing it. There's nobody better than to serve than the veterans who served us.